What's up, Clash? It's your boy T Dizzle back here on the YouTube channel. So there's about five, a little less than five hours left uh, for you to take advantage of those enchanting changes. So I wanted to hurry up and get this uh, video out. If you've got at least 900 gems um, on your account, then go ahead and do this event because you will get those 900 gems right back. Um, it's a pretty sweet event, um, and it sucks that. IGG hides it in the. Uh, well, they don't necessarily hide it in more uh, hide it in more events, but for those that are just kind of not necessarily paying attention, um, and they just go through and they just check the random uh, random uh, bizarre events and see if there's any one gem events or whatever. But this is definitely extremely helpful for a free to play account. So I'm actually going to do my main account and I'm going to do my T Dizzle three account real quick. Um, and the reason why I'm not doing my Tudor 2 account is because if you watch my uh, previous videos from last night, um, I ran my gems down to like 400 or whatever it is. So, unfortunately, I don't have gems to uh, to do this event on. And I actually ended up rolling traits on that one. So, um, let's just grab somebody random here. Let's just grab this uh, Aries. We'll get in here real quick. Equipment and uh, we're gonna go ahead and change. And it also gives you uh, six fame per roll, so that's quite nice too. So, and uh, no love there. Ooh, that is pretty sexy. I'm gonna leave that right there just to keep this video short and sweet so I can get it out to y'all and uh, hopefully you can take advantage of this event. Go to page for more events. Let's go ahead and get my 300 gems. There's 900 gems right back. And uh, that'll be it for this one. Let's go over here. Uh, so let's say that you have a handful of gems. And uh, let me see, you can get uh, change 10. Uh, you, get, you get 10. Wait. Change three times, you get an enchantment evolution runes. Oh, you only get one evolution run. Okay, I'm trying to read that. I was like, what is it actually giving? Okay, change 35 times, and you get you get three of the big boy books, which is uh, nice, provided that you have the gems. 80 times, you only get one augmenting stone, which isn't very good. Um, change 150 enchantments, which gives you 10,000 gems, which isn't too terribly bad, but you're spending five times that much. Maybe, I don't know. Let's see here. 150 times 300 a pop. That's three. You're spending, you're spending three times that much. A little over three times that much. So, it's nice to get some gems back whenever you do actually decide to, uh, uh, whenever you do actually decide to spend. So, as far as the big prize, wow. Skeletica card? Revite 5? 20 oath tablets, two augmenting stones. Wow, that is that is pretty pretty uh, enticing. Um, so if you got the gems, you can easily get Skeletica, provided that you're in that 20 percent tile that uh, that it's uh, coughing out the Skeletica. So let's go ahead and collect this real quick. Mailbox claim. Yes, thank you very much. And I know you see gems on my account. When am I gonna spend them? Well, I'm waiting for the the Christmas hero or the December hero. Um, we all know it's coming. And uh, I'll just show you guys real quick. Well, this video be a little bit short if I didn't. Um, yeah, so I got these uh, these guys sitting here. Um, I'm almost enough to get to uh, get the new the next hero up to level nine um, so and I've got a handful of books and I've got plenty of heroes in here that I'm going to um, I'm actually boosting my right now because uh, I'm in the process of uh, attempting to switch over to a new guild they asked me to have a 260 might and then I get a message today saying hey bro we're gonna need you for Sunday's Guild War so can you boost your might faster and i was like i'll do what i can i'm you know saving resources at the moment so um 
As you can see, all these guys are in light and five. As you can see, I have several in light and there, and those are all in light and fives. I've got two more there, and then, um, and then yeah. But if you guys are trying to uh, boost your might, I've noticed that, and I've known for a while that Skull Knight does give you quite a bit of might boost. But also, for those of you that may not know, that Michael actually gives quite a big um, might boost. Um, there was an app that I was using. It was called uh, Castle Clash Guru. Um, they haven't really updated in a while, so I just kind of I deleted it off just to make space on my uh, tablet. But it actually it actually did help help guys out quite a bit, especially on newer accounts. So, and I know that it's still on the Android market, but I highly doubt that it's been updated. I think the last year I updated on it was Heartbreaker or Medusa or. You know, what, something lower. So, you know, it has been updated in probably a year, I would say. But, uh, you know, it's it's very helpful for those uh, those newer accounts. And uh, if I've got time, I will go ahead and pull it up for you guys, just so you can see. And hang tight while I switch. All right, so here we are on my T-Dizzle 3 account. And we're going to go ahead and get in here and see if we can't get any luck on this account. Oh, I forgot that I had that energy sap. Um, hang tight for a second. Let me replace this real quick so I don't uh, make the video too long. Sorry about that. So yeah, um, when I made my decision, um, as far as a melee hero like Skull Knight is, uh, uh, increasing this hero's range is absolutely useless. Um, but the has 20% chance to inflict silence, which is uh, which is quite nice. But um, I typically run Blitz Scroll on him whenever I do use him. But I very rarely use him. Well, no, on this account I take that back. I do use him quite a bit because I don't have Skeletica on here. But I'm actually going to go ahead and replace this. And there we go. Um, going to get here. Uh, my Pumpkin Duke definitely needs a better talent, so hopefully we can get something better than this. So there's one, two, and uh, three. Damn, all ones. That is crazy. I really want Burning Plate for this uh, Pumpkin Duke. So, once I get a 6% chance to deal 240, now reduces the healing effects on two random. Yeah. Malaise is by far better um, than Sanctify Blast because uh, you're not worried about Pumpkin Duke's um, attack or his damage. You're worried about his survivability, um, you know, his HP. Uh, and whenever you got healing, it reduces healing effects on two random enemy heroes by 100%. That's uh, that's crucial whenever it comes to doing, uh, you know, let's just say that you use your Pumpkin Duke in your Gilwa raids, but definitely... Um, definitely comes in useful for um, whenever you do dungeons. Uh, I highly, highly recommend um, either Malaise but, or um, Burning Plate for your Pumpkin Duke. But Malaise isn't a bad choice, secondary choice. But if you get that Burning Plate 5, I would say uh, Pumpkin Duke by far. And then uh, as far as your Michael goes, uh, I think... I think Burning Plate 5 is the best for him as well. You might have others out there that say that isn't uh, whew, that isn't his best talent, but I mean, come on now. Increases max HP. That right there should tell you all you need to know. You want as much HP on Michael as possible. And the same thing with Pumpkin Duke. You want them to survive. Um, let's say they get you know stunned up by a Walla Walla or something like that. Wall Wall is just going to one-shot a normal Pumpkin Duke. But if you add the skin, you add HP attributes, um, and then you add uh, dodge attributes, you know, you, you, you're going to have a pretty stout Pumpkin Duke, or even Michael, you know. Um, same thing with those uh, those attributes. You want the, you want survivability with those guys. So let's go back in here and collect this before I get forget. That way I can get this video posted to you all. Uh, let's take a look here real quick. Winner, she, she, 10, level 6, a name eraser. Damn, that ain't bad for 20 bucks. 
Cookie Box, 10 level 7, 1 side shield set 3, 80 Aurora. Aurora is actually pretty easy to get. 10 level 8, which is pretty good. The 6 fame box 3s, which is not bad, 6,000 fame. And then the 100 purse lot, the 100 purse lot is pretty good. I actually just got to level 21 on my main purse lot, which uh, adds 10 additional dungeon entries. So if I were you guys, get your purse lot. Um, you know, just keep cracking them eggs because that purse lot uh, definitely helps out. So it kind of sucks that she uh, was introduced to the game so late. Well, I can collect these eggs. Get some purples. Eh. All right. And then for those of you that uh, uh, for those of you that haven't watched my previous videos, um, don't let don't let these uh, green eggs get uh, build up because your max your cap is 999. So um, I had to spend probably three or four days worth of uh, just incubating uh, green eggs to get my I had like 980 on my main and I got it down to 910 or 911 now so um, yeah just keep an eye on those green eggs once you get about 900 start throwing a green one in here and there and I know it's not a big deal for those of you that are free to play or uh, you know buy just um, on a whim or don't buy too terribly often, but those of us that uh, that do spend quite often, keep an eye out on those green eggs. All right, hang tight, real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab this app real quick so that I can show you guys, um, especially you free to play or your newbies, um, a little bit of guidance. All right, boys and girls. So yeah, you actually have to type in the full word Castle Clash Guru. And uh, let's go ahead and get this guy real quick. And it's this top one here at the left. Um, we'll go ahead and pause this real quick while it downloads. I do apologize for this uh, video turning vertical. But I just wanted to show you guys here um, just some of the, uh, let's see here, what heroes do they have? Have they updated it recently? Um, the demos on there. Destroyer, Dredger, Golem, Grimpian, Harpoon, Harpreaker, Immortal, Medusa, Michael, Minnow, Ninja, Orspain, M. King, Pixie, Hermit, Sandman, Cyrus, Colonize, Zazel, Spirit, Mage, Treachery, Street. So it looks like the last one they did was maybe I'm not I I'm not sure when the what hero was the most recent, but they definitely do have the demo on here. So let's just go ahead and select the. There we go. So you can go on here and you can see what the statistics are of these heroes. And uh, you can take them all the way up to 10, see what the skills are. So it's kind of, it's kind of does, it shows you what's going on with the, um, the, the compendium, or not the compendium, but the, but the thing at the bottom, the book at the bottom. But also here is some, um, you can go here, you can go, no, let's see, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, uh, strangers and Tips. Um, Lava Isle, Lava Isle 2. Um, it actually kind of show you how to set up your Lava Teams. You know, who's, who's a good idea to use? Um, I don't think it, it may not have had this before. And Lava 3, which is uh, what we run on a typical basis. It hasn't been updated because they would have added the new heroes. But as far as um, that goes. And then, um, let's see here. You go to choose dungeon. So we're on level 510. And if you look here, it tells you drop area. Um, it tells you... What spells to use? To, it, it gives you an in-depth of how to beat said dungeon. So I'm excited for whenever they do update this. I hope they do because um, there's lots of little goodies that they put in here. You know, boss strategies, lost realm. Um, lost realm necessarily isn't isn't that that tough, 
But for those of you that are new, it can be. All right, thanks, y'all. Bye.